What's up guys, I have a little surprise. I've actually bought a new gadget for my setup. Stream Deck from Elgato. So Elgato is the company and they have this cool thing. It's great for streamers, not only for gamers, but you can actually use it for artists, designers, and whoever, people who does productivity stuff. It's gonna increase that because what you can actually do with this is crazy. Like you can pretty much use it as macros, as keyboard shortcuts. You can use it for your live streams to switch transitions. It works with Streamlabs, YouTube, like so many different platforms, even like Twitch as well. So it is a bit expensive. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because it's going to increase my, my workflow. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it and see what's inside. So they also got a mini version, which only has six buttons. But this one has, I think, 15 buttons, which is really cool. So it's got, they've got a nice plasticky tactile feel. It's really cool, really solid. And it's got like a nice design. I'm just going to pull it out here. Very clean. Obviously, they've got like a little booklet and the cable here. I'm just going to pull it out. Very simple, minimal design. And you can see it's very, very small. Like compared to this box, you can see like it's small, the, the scale of it. But overall, it's, it feels nice, nice um, construction here. Very, very solid. And it also comes with a stand as well, which is interesting. So instead of like facing it down like this, like you do your keyboard, you can actually have it raised up um, like this, right? Which And what you can do is you can put it next to your keyboard so you can press the buttons and it can work for pretty much anything. Even if you want to like upload a web, like get a website, if you want to shortcut an illustrator, it's like really, really cool. So that's what's in the box, guys. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into Illustrator and see if we can play around with it and see if it works. And um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this quick review. Uh, I just like showing things on my gadgets. And also, this is not a sponsored video at all. It's just I per per personally bought this, but I just like sharing um, my tools and my resources with um, people so you guys can get the same thing as well. So I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use a Stream Deck. So if you go to your system tray, you'll see the little Stream Deck icon there and you'll get this box pop up and pretty much this is the main UI that you will see. On the left hand side, you've got profile so I can click Stream Deck. I could also add a mobile device. I can click on profiles here as well. So I've got one profile and then also another one. So you can actually have multiple profiles. Maybe you have one for like a workspace and then one for your streaming or gaming, whatever it is. You can mix those up. You can also see you can add folders. So I can double click this and on my Stream Deck, you can see it's actually changing. And you can see I've got this is for like my stream stuff and then this is for my work stuff. And I'm still adding um, more pages as well. So on the right hand side, you can see you've got all these different platforms that uh, you're able to use. You can click more actions and actually install some, just like a plugin. So you can install all these ones, which is really cool. If you want to delete one, you click on this little, um, these three little squares, and I can tick on the one that I want it to add. Or if I don't want one, maybe I don't use. Um, X split for example, I can tick that off and just click done and it should get rid of from this menu. So you can see I've got all these icons here already on my stream deck. And if I just double click on one of them, so I'm going to double click on the Adobe Illustrator, right? You can see that once you drag an icon, you can see in my system, I dragged an open and, I dr and you can drop it on there. So you can see here, the link goes to my Adobe app. So I've so pretty much when I click the button, it's going to open the AI um, XE file. If I want to make a, if I can add text, so I can do Illustrator, and it's going to add that to my screen. I can also delete that. I can also uh, change the text if I want it on top. For example, Illustrator. I can change the text, make it go to the top. As you can see, the icon there. I can also change the font sizing. Um, I can underline it. I can change the color. You actually got a lot of editability here. You can also change the font as well. I don't know if you can add fonts yet, but these are the default ones there. So if I just double click, I'll go, I want to go to an empty screen. I'm going to drag and drop one of these um, website icons. And I want to make this URL maybe go to Facebook. So I can type the URL facebook.com. I can click this and click create a new icon or set from file. So you can actually make your own icons in Illustrator or Photoshop, but I'm going to click set from file. I'll locate this icon pack that I did download for free. And you can see it's got all these cool, cool icons. And then what I can do is I can go to the Facebook app and click that. So now you can see if I go to my stream deck and I click Facebook, it should open up here. As you can see, it opened up on my other screen, but you can see that it loaded up with just a click of a button. So it's really cool and really easy to use. If I press the button on my 
deck as well. You can see that. I'm just going to quickly get a Streamlabs as well. You can now see I'm on my secondary panel. And what I can actually do here is I've set up four buttons. So I've got my split screen, my um, stream starting soon. I've got the third screen and then also my webcam. So just by clicking these, you can see it easily changes from the screen. I can also mute. So you can see the mute down the bottom here. I can um, turn the volume on and off. I can send a message or a tweet. I can also dim my actual um, stream deck, which is cool. So you can dim the light there. And overall, it's a cool experience. It's really fun. You just want to press those buttons, but it's really easy for streaming and you can make it switch between streams. And if I go to my stream deck here, you can see that I've selected Stream Labs OBS and I've dragged the scene like this. And then whatever scene you actually have inside your, um, as you can see here, you can see the stream, uh, the scr screens or the, the scenes. You can see I've got four here. Once you add more, then it will pop up in your stream deck and you can add it here as well. So overall, it's very easy to use. Just drag and drop and name the files and it just makes everything a lot faster and a lot better and a lot quicker. So overall, the Stream Deck is a really cool tool to boost your productivity and just will lift your content game to the next level because it's just so efficient having those macros and buttons right there. It's really great for streaming. So if you're a gamer, a content creator, or you know maybe you're an artist and you stream lives, um, any type of person like that, it'll be a great fit for you because not only can you use it for streaming and making it really smooth, having your transitions and just making life a lot easier for you, you can also use it for other programs as well with hotkeys and things like that. But even for just opening, opening everyday apps, it's just really, really useful. So in my opinion, I feel like it's a good investment for the long term and I feel like it's gonna up my content game. But yeah, that's my honest opinion. And thanks guys for watching, really appreciate it. Subscribe for the more chat. Uh, <clears throat> So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Really hope you like this type of content with a little bit of reviews, um, some gadgetry, you know, all that cool tech stuff. Um, I'm a techie guy, so why not? But um, if you want to see more design content about branding, logo design, and all that cool stuff, then subscribe to the channel because I upload a video every week. So I hope you guys enjoy the day, and I'll catch you in the next one.